As a Cincinnatian, the Taft Museum of Art really speaks volumes about the city. It represents the history of Cincinnati. We just celebrated our 200th anniversary of the historic house, so think of what this, this property has seen and witnessed. Now as a museum, it has its own you know, social prominence in the city. Its collection is phenomenal um, and incredibly important for the city, unique. It is the oldest still standing building in downtown Cincinnati and a wooden one at that. So it's very, it's very rare for the area. It was important for the Tafts to maintain this and to maintain the cultural node that it is for downtown Cincinnati and then to shift it from a residence where they were hosting all these parties and these acolytes coming to gather, to shift it to a museum seemed a perfect navigation in its evolution. I mean, the house is so significant to me in that the, the, the people who built it, the people who lived here, I mean, they were the founders of the city. Um, they were the people who, you know, you look at today, who are the leaders in Cincinnati who are pouring their heart, soul, their time, their talent, their treasure into the city to make the city better in every way, in every dimension. Those are the families that lived in this house, you know, 200, 150, 100 years ago. Imagine if you were a fly on the wall. I mean, what kinds of conversations, what kinds of moments in history occurred in our city that the residents of this structure were all party to. If you were an important author, politician, head of state, if you visited Cincinnati, you certainly visited the home of the Tafts. In order to start a project as ambitious as this one, you might say that all the stars had to be in perfect alignment. And what do I mean by that? We needed to have the right people on our board. I worked with the board and I led the staff. I made sure that we were all in agreement about what our goals were. And they were pretty basic. Fix the historic house upgrade our security and our fire suppression system, and make sure that when we reopen, an art collection that was built in the early 20th century is relevant to a diverse audience in the early 21st century. It was important to complete this project now because it needed to happen now. Frankly, when we started this effort, it wasn't the intention to do the restoration of the house to the degree we are restoring the house. And we had some grand plans to improve our visitor experience with uh, new um, dining experiences and a new entry. But when we started to look at what would be required to paint the house, that's when we discovered the damage. We just knew that something was getting in. And so we cut some holes in and looked inside and got quite a few surprises in terms of what we found. We found that there was insulation in there, but it all slumped to the bottom. Uh, there was no what they call vapor barrier in there that, that would help keep moisture out. We found there was mold. We found that some wood was rotted, and that's when we realized this isn't a case of just kind of uh, uh, closing things up on the outside, putting caulking in. Um, we had to really take the boards off, get inside the wall, repair everything that was there, and then put the boards back on again, which that's not something that's typically done. We knew that the wear and tear on the house would become more extreme, and you put something off a year, and it's going to be more expensive. So this was the right time to do it. What I found most rewarding about the project here down at Taft is just the collaboration of being a, a part of a high performing team with a very specific goal and agenda with some serious constraints and being able to overcome those in a, in a way that achieves the, the objective of restoring a historic house. There's a lot of hurdles on this project. It is probably one of the most complicated construction projects I've ever worked on. So um, it, 
required a team and this team leaned in and leaned in very well. We, we've done other historic buildings, none of, of this magnitude or of this age. Um, this is probably the oldest historic project we've done. Collaboration on a project like this is key. Not one person can know every single thing about how to do everything in a project like this. It takes, it takes a village. It takes everybody to bring their expertise to the table to figure out what's best for something like the Taft Museum. Being a part of that preservation, to keep that piece of history here in Cincinnati for years to come is, is just a real, a real source of pride. I love history, I love Cincinnati history, and this is you know, truly a gem of the city that so many people drive, I drive by it every morning on my way into work. You really think this house has looked down 4th Street for 200 years and has seen so much history, as well as all the growth and industry and life of Cincinnati. The front of this house has really seen some amazing things, and to me it was so important to make sure that that was preserved and kept for another 100 years. I think the donors supported this project primarily because of their love of the museum. I mean, we have some very, very committed and faithful donors, and they do it because they know how important this facility is to the city. To see the love, the passion that people have for this place and stepping up to help raise the money, um, that was certainly rewarding. My vision is that, that, that what we're doing here will make this a viable facility for a, a very, very long time into the future. That we will be able to sustain what we're doing now and even expand it. So the vision is to provide a place for convening and for enjoying the visual arts for centuries to come. The house is 200 years old. Obviously what we're going for is another 200 years to preserve this historic place for generations to come. Long after we're all gone, we hope we don't have to do another restoration like this for a long, long time. I think museum visitors will notice that the building looks to be in really great shape, but doesn't look like a new building. I think they'll find that it feels really renewed and really refreshed, but still feels historic. So we've worked hard to make sure that the visitor experience is a meaningful one, a place for discovery and fun, a place for contemplation and maybe learning, a place for relaxation and maybe rejuvenation, a place for lunch, a place for music, and maybe some entertainment. It's a small historic house museum that offers so much that you can make what you want of it.